Okay, so before we get this video started, um, it is 12.03 a.m. And I decided to open up Magic and do another video. And I went to make a deck. And I have no idea what's going on right now. The only thing I can think of, the only thing, is it's technically April Fool's. So, if that's what this is, um... <laughs> You got me. Uh, they got a little mouths when the deck box opens up. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. I'm done. Let's get to the video. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to my channel, Always Bolt the Bird. So today we're going to be playing some Orzhov Vampires. This is probably one of the meh-iest decks that I've played on this channel so far. Um, it's not a bad deck, but it wasn't... Amazing. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. I thought it would be um, much more aggro, but maybe I just got bad draws. I don't know. So regardless, let's just go over the deck real quick. Um, four Legions landings, obviously. Uh, two Font of Agonies. Um, one of the games, you'll actually see Font of Agonies uh, do extremely well um, because we had the next card, the Adanto Vanguard out. So basically, they kept trying to kill this, and we would just pay four life, put four counters on it, and then uh, destroy target creature, destroy whatever they played. Um, so yeah, we got four of those. Then two Dusk Legion Zealots, just good. Enter the battlefield, you get to uh, you draw a card, lose a life. Four Legion Lieutenants, because everything we have is a vampire. Um, make a stand, only one of. Uh, get plus one, plus O, oh, and get indestructible talent the turn. Could be a good game finisher if they don't block something, or it could just be good on the defense to not take some damage. Uh, four Radiant Destinies, the, definitely the, um, the star of the show. Uh, they're just super good. One Mortify, basically just in case. Whoa. I've never actually looked at the art, uh, the card art for a Mortify, and that is super trippy. That's probably my favorite one. Alright. Uh, Sanctum Seeker. Okay, uh, whenever it attacks, each opponent loses one life. Well, whenever a vampire you control uh, loses one life and you gain life. Uh, the last game you'll watch, we actually, um, this won us the game. Three Twilight Prophets. It's basically a reverse, um, a reverse Bob. What's the name of that card? Um, but yeah, so basically if you have the City's Blessing, uh, you, you get to, uh, reveal the top card of your library when you draw... Uh, each opponent loses X life, and you gain X life where X is that converted mana cost. I will tell you straight up, every single time we played this, every single extra card we drew was a land. So it was pointless. <laughs> uh, Conclave Tribunal. Uh, again, just good for removal. And Ixalan's Binding. Uh, good for removal that you don't want coming back. And Call to the Feast, because 3 one, one white vampire tokens with lifelink for 4 is just good. And then Champion the Dusk. This is kind of a okayish card. There were definitely games where I couldn't play it because I was too low on life. But basically, uh, you draw X cards and lose X life, where X is the number of vampires you control. Uh, pretty standard um, mana base. The only thing that's different is Detection Tower. Uh, with Detection Tower, uh, there's a bunch of hexproof running around. And actually, in the same game where Font of Agony has killed everything, uh, we use Detection Tower to use Font of Agony's to kill a um, Carnage Tyrant. So that's always good. And then an Arch of, um, Arch of or Oraska in case you need to draw some cards. But yeah, so uh, that's the deck. Uh, we'll get right into the games. And if you enjoy videos like this, hit the like button, subscribe, tap the bell icon to get notified every time I post a video. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And also... Uh, Sundays, 8 p.m. Eastern, we'll be streaming live on YouTube, right here. Uh, I just finished my first live stream, we had a lot of fun, so, um, yeah, let's get into the videos. Alright, let's play some Orzov Vampires against that word. Um, well, opponent goes first again. We'll keep it, though. Alright, so... Godless Shrine tapped. Okay, are we playing against a Stompy deck that didn't get a lot of more elves? Uh, pass turn. Mm. 
Yeah, Druid of the Cowl. I actually think they ran out of- yeah, they ran out of mana. Alright, that's always decent for us. Uh, may as well. That way... They're definitely not gonna block... Adanto. Right, and there we go. So let's see... Elvish Rejuvenator, huh? Alright. Uh, I might get rid of the Druid of the Cowl. I mean, they did get just get a bunch of land. Um, okay, so let's do this. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get a Twilight Prophet out. Uh, next. Just you. You get a double block? No? Okay. So they just don't want to take the damage. Fair enough. Tender shoot. Okay, that's good for the Ixalons. All right, so I guess they were playing like that. Uh, the tender shoot version of the Stompy deck. All right, so that resolves. Detection tower. We'll just do this on the tender, on the tender shoot. All right, an opponent scoops it up. Um, yeah, I guess they just since they didn't have mana. Alrighty, let's play some Orzhov Vampires. Ooh, we get to go first. We'll keep it. Unfortunately... Well, we want a Font of Agonies on turn one, I guess just... Alright, so let's just... We'll pay two life and throw out the Font. Um, sucks we didn't have another black source of mana. Okay, so... Toss down white. And... Pass the turn. I might just pay for life. Depending on what they play. Just to put the four counters on this. Okay. Um... Well, I guess we could just Radiant Destiny. Vampire, yep. Alright, so... Attack. And end turn. Alright. If they play something, we can always just... Pay for life to destroy it, basically. Yep. Steel Leave Champion. So, yes. Put the counters on. Resolves. Uh, my turn. And we'll just kill it. And that's how Font of Agonies is supposed to work. <laughs> um, the Adanto is actually really, really good at that. With, um, with being able to pay four life and just putting four counters. Uh, Lava Coil. It deals four damage. Uh, you know what? It still dies anyway. Don't care. Oh no, it doesn't die. Alright, never mind. It's not minus counters, it's just four damage. Alright, uh I guess we just keep attacking. I mean at some point we wind up killing ourselves. Uh and turn. Um Nope. We'll pay it again. Alright, so resolves. Pass, pass, my turn. Okay, so we can do this. Legion's Landing. No, uh, Legion Lieutenant. And... Attack, hit him for five. And end turn. If they want to try Lava Coiling again... Okay, Carnage Tyrant. Okay, Resolves. This one's gonna be fun. Alright, pass, pass. My turn. Alright, ready? So... Wait, what? Until end of turn, your opponents and creatures your opponent control with Hexproof can be the targets of spells. Weird. I guess it still has the, uh... 
Um, I guess it still has the sigil on it. All right. And all attack. And we win. So that was actually a pretty, uh, pretty fun game. Um, and we learned something that the Texan Tower doesn't take the hexproof, uh, the hexproof sigil off. Weird. All right, let's play some Orzov Vampires. Uh, we'll keep it. They do go to go first. And they're playing some type of red deck. Hopefully it's not mono red. Nope. Is Boros uh, double strike, huh? All right, so let's do this. Um, let's attack. I'll be okay with trading. Yeah, all right. They don't trade. Um, next turn we can just conclave tribunal it, depending on what they play now. Let's see what they play. Another one, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah, obviously no blocks. Yep. So actually, we'll pay two life. Let's get down this. Throw it on vampire. Um, I'm still going to attack. If they want to kill it, I get to kill one of them. Alright, so we gain life. That's, that's more of what I wanted. And next turn we can play Twilight Prophet. Alright, Luminous Bonds. Fair enough. Alright, so they don't attack. Conclave Tribunal... Non-land permanent. Um. No attacks. Alright, so if we want to, we can get rid of the... Yep, Ixalan's Binding. What I was going to say is Luminous Bonds, but... Uh, we will... Alright, so let's do this. Um. They can always... They can always Ixalan's binding my my Conclave Tribunal, but uh, no attacks. So let's see if they have another one. But then I can Ixalan binding their Ixalan's binding. Eh? That's why I actually run both Conclave and Ixalan's binding. All right, an opponent just scoops it up. So I guess I guess they didn't have anything in their hand. All right, let's play some Orzov Vampires against Kino, or Kino. I will keep it. Reliquy Tower with uh, ability zero. Uh, all right, so Legion's landing. That was actually a pretty decent draw. Uh, let's see. What do we do next? I guess Adanto, right? Yep, Adanto sounds like the good play. Uh, may as well get that out there. Alright, so Adanto. Next, next. Uh, well, I'll attack next. And, and turn. Um, who wants to bet... This just creates colorless, right? Alright, well here comes a negate. Maybe. They did No. Okay. Maybe they're playing artifacts or something like that. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that played. Okay. Uncomfortable chill. Okay, so maybe they're not playing a counters deck. Maybe they're playing kind of like a tricks deck. Uh, pass, pass. My turn. Uh, what do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Um, let's see if they do have counters, though. All right, they don't. I guess they can also have a settle the wreckage. All right, well, they got another one of those. Okay, and turn. Uh, pass, pass, my turn. All right, so... I guess Godless Shrine, that can enter tapped. May as well all attack. Okay, so that flips. Uh, next. All right, so they don't have another one of those uh, chills. Well, whatever we play, we can either mortify or we will just... I guess we're just going to make a... Uh... Okay, opponent scoops it up. Um, yeah, so I mean, that wasn't a bad game. A weird game. I'm not sure what deck they were playing, but we beat it anyway. All right, let's play some Orzhov Vampires against, I guess, Drac? Drake. We are on the draw. Okay. Mega Sand. Haven't seen that this video yet, actually. Uh, we'll keep it. And let's see what version of red they're playing. Okay, nope. Uh, well, we'll pay two life now. Alright. So they're not playing red, but they're playing, I guess, white aggro, white weenies. Turn two, Johnny's pride mate. New no, white black as well. All right. Um, let's draw a card. Uh, may as well attack. Get in for one. Get back some of the life we lost on turn one. So let's see. Uh, so far they're not playing anything. Well, let's see. Radiant Destiny. Vampire. And let's get in for four. Uh, I wonder if they have a Mortify and if they're going to uh, get rid of the Radiant Destiny. No, Tide Taker. Alright, so they gain a life. Um... This is an instant, right? Yeah. All right, let's let's all attack. Ooh, no blocks. All right, so they don't want to lose it. Um, let's just get down a third creature to flip Legion's Landing, and we'll pass a turn. So let's see what happens. Doom the center, you say. Okay, so they'll gain a life. Resolves. Pass. What are you doing to my Odonto Vanguard? I'll pay the four life. Yeah? Yes. No. Pass the blockers. Alright, block. Pass the damage. Afterlife one. They'll gain one more life. Resolves. My turn. Alright, so we got this. Alright, let's do the same thing. All attack. Now they have Vigilance. We get to flip Legion's Landing. And let's see how they block. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 if I pump them. Um... Nope, we could do that. Alright, so they get a 2-2 two -two zombie now. They'll gain one more life back. And... Let's just play another Legion's Landing. And we'll pass a turn. Knight of Sorrow can't be... 
Oh, can block an additional creature each combat. Okay. Interesting. They gain one life. Pass to attackers. Uh, pass to end the combat. All right, so let's make another one. And my turn. Uh, hmm. We're going to lose three, four, five, six life. Doesn't seem great. Uh, all right. So let's, let's all attack. Flip Legion's landing again. Keep one of them. Let's see how they block because, um, we're going to be gaining six life. I've never played against this card. I have no idea how we order this when it comes up. Or do they order it? Well, we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Uh, we're not going to pay to keep the Vanguard alive. I guess next? Okay, so then they order it, I guess. Alright, so we gained six life. That's a... They gained one more life. And... Champion of the Dusk. A little bit easier to just lose four life. Um... Yeah, we're gonna pass the turn. Um... Their 1-1s one aren't so great against us. Alright, well, they'll gain a life. And then they'll gain another life when it goes to combat. What? The heck is that? Interesting. So it's, um... The Exalted mechanic, I guess. Okay. Okay. So let's start off with an Ixalan's Binding. On that. And let's all attack, gain a bunch of more life, uh, okay, so we gain a bunch more life, and I'm guessing after we play Conclave Tribunal, uh, tap one of those guys. Anything, anything. I'm guessing after we play Conclave Tribunal, they're going to be unhappy. But all right. I'm waiting for a Settle the Wreckage. No, not a Settle the Wreckage. Um, a Cleansing Nova. Okay. They will gain that one life. Um, want to... Interesting. Alright, so we're going to play this. We're... Uh, one, two, three... We'll do this. Tap, 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 tap. And we will get rid of the Orzov Enforcer. All attack. And we win the game. Because they can only block two of them. Therefore, two will get through. Sanctum Seeker for the win. I mean, unless he has something. But I don't think... Yeah, they just scoop it up. Alright. Didn't look like they had anything. I thought maybe they had, like... I, I guess that deck wouldn't play a Revitalize, right? Well, alright. Regardless. Um, yeah, so... Uh, that was actually a pretty fun deck. Unfortunately, it wasn't the greatest deck. Um, I'm pretty sure there's actually a better version of Vampires out there. But I just wanted to play this one. So... Uh, regardless, if you enjoy videos like this, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, tap the bell icon, you'll get notified every time I post a video, which is Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and also, I'm now streaming every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. Um, I actually just, uh, just finished streaming my first live stream on YouTube, and yeah, we had a lot of fun, it was definitely fun, um, 
if you stop by. So, the live stream is probably when I'm going to be doing some giveaways and such. Um, I have a couple of things. So, yeah. Um, head on over to the live stream if you catch it on Sundays, 8 p.m. Eastern. Otherwise, we will see you in the next video.